Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. I'm really excited to be playing a shorter game today. The game we're looking at is called Storytime, and it was made for the Global Game Jam 2016, which is actually an event that I participated in here in my small town that I live in. And our game didn't quite turn out the way we wanted. However, it's really cool to see other people's projects kind of getting publicized now. So we're going to play a game called Storytime. I don't know how to play this. It's time to go to bed. Dad, tell me a story. Ugh, fine. I'll tell you a story. Um, let's see. Once upon a time, there was a cat. And that cat was a superhero in the time when he was not sleeping. And as you know, superheroes need a car to get around like the Batmobile like Batman so this cat couldn't drive I I think I've lost the point all right so this so na 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 Batman yeah music uh all right hot dogs all right let's try to get this story back on set so superhero cat had to save people from a fire And he was like, no problem, I got this. But who set the fire? My arch enemy left a banana peel as a trademark on the scene of the crime. It must be Bozo the Clown. Dude, the kid's not scared of clowns. Oh, it's over. You didn't even get to solve the crime. Good night, Timmy. I scared my child zero times amused and they woke up a little sleepy the next morning well that's cute all right let's do it again let's do it again i can do better i can do better all right all right it's time to go to bed timmy i don't know why i'm stretching it's not like you can see that i'm stretching so it really doesn't accomplish anything other than weird creaking noises all right okay i know what this story is about lightning mcqueen of cars fame has died who can take up the mantle of a hero and be another red car with a face weirdly placed over its engine? Well, there was a contest among all the other cars that they didn't really know what to do, and so they just fought, which goes entirely against the teachings of Lightning McQueen and the rest of the cast of cars, including that guy that's a stand-up comedian about rednecks. So what did they do? They all went home because sometimes you just have to sleep on your problems. And everything was fine until another car was chosen to take his place and also immediately assassinated. I'm sorry, Timmy. And so, how did he die, you ask? A wolf ripped out his interior seats and headlights, but he came back as a ghost to offer a warning to the other cars. Stay, oh, stay home. And don't try to be Lightning McQueen. Trust me. <laughs> no deep thought at all. All I did was scare him. And I had full attention from my child 12 times. That's probably not how you're supposed to parent. All right, all right, no, no, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time. All right, this time is for all the marbles. Can we tell a competent story? I think the answer is no. We've already proven that. <sighs> All right. Um, once upon a time, there was a boat. It was a kick-ass boat filled with superheroes and other cool people. Like Kid Rock and that guy from Teen Werewolf. This party, as you could probably imagine, smelled very badly. And since it smelled badly, the American government was like, we have to burn it all. All of the debaucherous, insensitive human beings in the world are in one boat. So why don't we just bomb them and start over? Well, they didn't realize that many of the people who were self-centered and mean-spirited were running late. Their cars didn't start, or they just didn't care to get there on time. And so the boat that they burned, the boat, 
that they burned was only half the problem, and the people of evil in the world survived. There was a huge fight, man against machine, machine against man, broccoli for some reason that I just saw there at the end. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. I, that was not great. I'm a pensive child. I want to see, like, okay, let's speed run. Let's do, like, a speed run of this game, all right? We'll try to just not scare him. Let's try to get him to bed as quick as possible. That seems fun. All right. You ready? All right. Timer starts as soon as I take control. All right, bananas. Bananas. Clowns. Boats. Soccer. Mathematics. More mathematics. Boats for days. Boats for days. I like that face that he makes. Cars. I know, you just don't care about cars and boats. Soccer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fights. Fights. Cars. I like hot dogs. Hot dogs. Houses, music. See, music and hot dogs elicit the same response. They're just like, what are you talking about, Dad? All right, we're running out of stuff. We're going to have to do something funny or spooky, so I'll do something funny instead. Go to sleep, child. Oh, I have no choice but to do something scary. Um, What's the least scary? Ghosts. No, ghosts are super horrifying. What am I doing? Hot dogs. Good night. wonder, like, I don't know what I did that time. I don't, I think I just did a bunch of middle of the road things. Laughed eight times. Child is pensive and I wake up with a drawing as a gift. Well, that's really, really cute, but I don't think I can do better than that. All right, guys, um, that's it for story time. I challenge you to <laughs> play this game and try to come up with a better way to fit the stories together. I mean, y you can't possibly do worse than I did, so you're probably fine. All right, see you soon.